Perseverance uses powerful laser pulses to investigate geologic materials on Mars. It recently started blasting tiny holes in rocks that may have formed in the muddy bottom of ancient Lake Jezero, or Yezero. The results are encouraging on this episode of Mars Guy. Perseverance has started a reconnaissance campaign at the front of the ancient delta deposits. Here's a stadium for scale. Before collecting samples, it's going on a walkabout to identify the rocks most likely to host evidence of ancient life, like mudstones. One of its targets is an interesting band of material affectionately known as the bacon strip, requiring Perseverance to thread the needle between two large sand ripples on its approach. Here's the view looking back at the tracks, and here's Mars Guy for scale. The stunning vista includes the distant Kodiak Mesa, an eroded remnant of the formerly more extensive delta. There's also a tiny crater that Perseverance didn't even bother to avoid. Remarkably, this crater can actually be seen from orbit thanks to the incredible resolution of the high-rise camera. Also visible are the lowest and outermost bits of the delta deposit at the contact with the crater floor terrain. Although heavily eroded, these bits of outcrop show the fine layering you'd expect to see in sediments deposited in the deep, calm water in front of a delta. Known as bottom set beds, these are the kind of rocks that can preserve organic matter from long dead microbes if they're made of lithified mud and if there was ever life on Mars. That's a big if. Here you can see the blast marks from the SuperCam instrument. It uses a telescope to shoot short pulses of laser light at rocks and dirt. It concentrates more than 10 megawatts of power on a millimeter spot for just four nanoseconds. That's four billionths of a second. That much power not only melts whatever it hits, it actually turns it into a plasma, like the sun, hence the flashes of light. A spectrometer can then recognize what atoms or elements are present. A fun fact is that helium was first discovered by observing the sun in this way, hence its name, which comes from Helios, the Greek god of the sun. The laser blasts also have the added benefit of clearing away dust on rocks. That's where these latest blast marks get interesting. Many light-toned rocks on Mars are just dark rocks with light dust on them that can be brushed or blown away. The Jezero layered rocks don't appear to be dust-covered dark rocks. So that's a good thing if you're looking for mudstones, which can be relatively light-toned from clay minerals. Other spectrometers on Perseverance should be able to identify clay minerals if they're present. If so, these would be rocks that should be sampled. But the next problem is whether any of them are big enough to fit the rock core on and firm enough to not move under the heavy load and hammering action of the rotary percussive drill. Perseverance has driven further along the same layer of rocks, reaching a point with a commanding view of the route it's been on for the past two weeks. It's also blasted another rock, showing a similar result, although still on one that's probably too small to sample. But there are plenty of larger exposures up ahead that likely will offer good targets for the first sample of the Jezero Delta. 